How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralphie Customs? Time for another vlog. Uh, it's going to be a mixed bag, I think, this week. A little bit of this and that. So the new rear guard's come for the Triumph. I don't know why my camera's so jerky. All I can do is apologise. Um, we can get on with that, but more important, not more important. Well, it's up, boys. We have got the Thunderbox and the Lunchbox, <laughs> as suggested. Yeah. Nice little cosy fucking good idea. There's my cards and shit. I've cleaned my table down to a degree, but I'm not going to scrub it clean because it, it has these all over it on daily. Um, but we've took three bags of rubbish out of here. I don't know, fucking hell, what you like. And we've got the fucking trophy cabinet. The shrine to Chola, if you know, you know. And a nice little eating area. Happy fucking days. Right, oh, so the eagle eyed amongst you will notice two things. First of all, the engine's out of the hard on. And secondly, those mounts you've just seen me done have been disappeared because I made a fuck up. Full disclosure. For the total transparency, um, those that are regular, regular readers all know that I'm going through a bit, like, so I've fucked up. There you go, that's all I've got. But we've healed it up, look, we've made it go away. And now we're just welding everything. We're just TIG welding those brackets in um, and the head steady brackets. And there, look, if it'll focus. Yeah. And MIG welding all of the joints and everything else and then we're going to give it a good dress up i've also got to do some cutouts more cutouts for chain clearance so i thought while i'm putting my fuck up right i'll strip it down and do all the welding and fabrication on the frame as far as i can tell apart from the chain guard mount which i'm really not looking forward to because there's no fucking room cheers then thanks for coming righty fucking out there that's that <clears throat> off camera a lot of welding and grinding and sanding um I've not done the cutouts on this far rail yet, but I think you'll agree that's cleaned up rather nicely. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I've Googled it and it's fucking a Samsung issue. Maybe they'll update or something. I'll try and figure something out, but just bear with. Bear with while you got this jumping around shit going on that it's not doing it. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Classic. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that pretty much cleaned up. We're getting on it. Right, oh, so. First up is a badly recorded jerky fucking Samsung. Sort your shit out. Leaking petrol tank for our finger bob. Um, there's a split, look. If the camera will focus, see that split? There's another one this side that I can't quite pick up on camera. Hold on. There. There, see that airline crack, look? So what I'm going to do is sand this all down, clean it all up. I thought about tigging it or brazing it or it's going to be too dirty to tig. I've looked inside and it ain't pretty. Uh, and if I braze it, there'll be some heat going through it. And if it leaks again, you won't be able to weld it. You'll have to braze it again. So what I'm going to do is sand it smooth, sand it down and then just run a MIG line right the way down both sides, I reckon. Hopefully that will sort it out for him. And then... <coughs> I'm going to cut, use me CAD to cut a, an infill to fill this in for him. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Well, as you may have just seen, that's not going according to plan. There's a lot of shit coming out. I'm going to clean this edge up better with a finger file or similar and uh, try again. But we're fucking, that blew an hole and then set fire, blew a spouty fucking Bernie out. We needed Red Adair to come in and give it a fucking stick of dynamite. Hmm. Clean it all up and try again. Oh, 
Right, so with a good clean up, we have give ourselves a couple of nice beads. You may notice that I was intermittent. We were stopping and starting. Look, focus, focus. I don't want to put my hand there because it's fucking red hot. Um, so we're doing loads of little stitches basically and we're just dotting the dots, we're joining them up. Leave it, you strike an arc, do a little bit, stop, wait till it nearly stops glowing so it's still hot, hit it again, hit it again, hit it again. That way we don't burn through the tank but we still have a continuous weld. So I'll give that a quick fettle up and uh, then go on to the front. Charlie Sharper! Charlie Sharper! Is that here, mate? This will buy fucking... Two A really. Bit of titillation done, ready for the run. So we made a bit of cat, cardboard aided design, and we turned it into steel and welded it in. So that can now go back to him and he can mount it and I think it's our mark if you're watching. Big love bro. I think he's got the unenviable task of making it look smooth, pretty and shiny. So it's over to you, I'm on lock. Right, we're just having a quick bulletproof in the old Ralphie Customs mug available in the merch stores in the description below. Uh, and then we're gonna get on and try not to move the fucking camera too much because of the jerky shit. I'm struggling. Um, we need to cut these out. Cut this out, this bit there, and this bit there. We need to squish, squish it flat, yeah? I'm squishing your brain. So I'll get on and do that. Much grinding and fettling will ensue, most of which, well, all of which, oh, fuck it, I'll do it off camera. You've seen me grinding off, Christ on the bike. Right, oh, so, oh, well, I can get in there, that's fucking sound. And I can get in there for three cuts, that's sound, but I can't fucking get in there. Where am I? I can't get in here. All right in there. <clears throat> I'm, I'm reluctant to just butcher it out with a grinder for half an hour, because. Just saying, right, I'm gonna see what I've got. Ta -da! So we used a combination of a sealy little 75mm three inch cutoff saw. <coughs> the other extreme was the five inch cutoff saw. Well, cutting blade. And of course the good old fucking favourites. Yeah. So yeah, that's redder. Um the the biggest thing I see now is I've got to cut a bit of solid to go in there and it's fucking got a curve, hasn't it? So I have to curve it, that one there can be straight and then boxed in. Nice bit of something ever. You can go straight in there, check for burrs with your finger while you're there, that's always good. Um, but what I'll do, I'll use this as the Simon template to get the curve that I need in a bit of whatever I use, six mil or somewhere, I guess. Let's have a look. Right, so with that ready to work, well, I've cut a piece, look, it's welded in there. I'm not sure about that, we might have to warm some of up and fucking bend it, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, but I've come, to, I've come to a stage where I need to do another little job, and that is make an earth strap for this table. I'm going to fix one end of this earth lead, look, I've got, to this clamp, and put an eyelet on the other end and bolt it to the table. So when I'm on a job like this, I can move the earth over so the welder's connected to both because that'd be really convenient. So I'll get on and do that quick. Right, oh, so we've stripped some cable off and I've got some eyelets. So this is the biggest one I've got. Um, and I ain't got, of course, I've, I've not got the tool ever for crimping these ends up. So what I figure is we can use the fucking, the old fave in here, look, if I can fucking get it. It's trying to twist just to the cable, but maybe a bit more. There we go. So what I'll do now is whack that in the bias. And think I should have put some each ring on it back here before I did this, but I can do it from the other end. Um, <clears throat> get a map gas on it. This bad boy will do it. So, been sold up. A bit of heat. Try not to have quite the insulation. 
boat once it's flooded, look. Don't matter about the outside, we're not trying to fucking solve that, are we? So we'll see some in the end, look. And that should, surely, make it all fast and true. So, we've got one end made up and bolted with a big washer. We've got the other end made up and fitted on the clamp and clamped to the job. So now we'll have an earther kit on the fucking bench. Wherever this goes, I can send the earth off. Right, I've just used this six mil to, uh, sorry, eight mil to bolt that up and it's spun in the chuck and it's got munted. So I'm going to give the little atlas a dust off and just clean that shank up. It's that bad, you know You know when it's bad, you don't notice that you've done it, but when you get to fit it in the thing, it won't go in the fucking hole because it's got a bit of shit on it, like that'll focus. There. There we go. So we'll get that machined off quick. You can file it off, but fuck it. Right, no, so, top up the oil. The old oil is. Contact. Hey, help you move it. Yeah, for yourself. And it's just tying you up. There we go. And all we're going to do is touch on and send it, I think. You should knock that off nicely. Come on, girl. Go, come, come, come. Right. Take it back. Snug it off and go again. It's not going to be overly round after this, is it? Thinking about it, like you can see, it's not cutting it through. Bit. Maybe. In the fucking go. So let's get rid of that bit of shit. I'm the old. Get some ammo. This. This one. The ones I use most. 8.5. I've got a few. Bless me. Right, just a quick diversion. We've got this hitch uh, off, fuck knows what. I think it's an old Land Rover. It's, I've got to show you something in a minute actually. It's coming with another job and it's just a quick weld up job. He's marked it exactly where it wants to go because the pin goes through that hole and locks in that slot. But as he's marked it, that slot's not exactly straight. So, I'm going to trust his marks and I'm going to get a couple of tacks on uh, and I might pre-eat it because that is one fucking solid lump of shit that is. And it could do with the fucking, oh he's done it, I'm going to say I could do with the plating machining off it before or sanding off it. There you go. So I'll get a couple of tacks on that and then I might eat it, I might not, it's not cold. It's, I don't. I don't even know how it works, what it's doing like, so I think it's just a locator. It'll probably get away with riding it cold. Yeah. So, here you go, mind your eyes. Get a tack on here. Mm. Put a gas on. Gas is on. Right now. I'm sitting there, I'm out of fucking welding gas. I don't know what's happened there. Let's kind of get him over. Look at the size of that bastard. So, I've run out of welding gas. I'm going to put my spare bottle on. Uh, the reason I don't have this full size bottle on the welder is it makes it back heavy, it makes this front one lift up. So, uh, I've been sent this six inch machine vise by Vivor to do a review. Unfortunately, I should have asked for the five inch machine bias because I've already got one and I would have had a matched pair for doing shafts and shit so I need to buy one of them which I'll probably sell that for the price of the five inch and there's a big difference in the price once I've done the review that's my plan so if you want a six inch machine vice for whatever five inch Vivo machine vice is or buy me a Vivo five inch machine vice and I'll swap you how's that yeah Comments below. So anyway, I've got this fucking big bottle of gas. Can't pick it up. 
Honestly, I can't pick the cunt up. I used to pick these up all day, every day, move them around and fucking load them up, oxygen and settling the whole lot. No, I don't know why I have to use the oist. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there you go. Counterbalance, big heavy fucking bottle of gas. Ah. Don't forget, folks, our fuck stock stickers are now available in our Etsy store. Link in the description below. Fuck stock, you know it makes sense. So, yeah, before we weld that thing, look at this that's come in. Sorry for the jerk, eh? I can't seem to fucking stop it. I don't want to launch my phone like that, that'd be a bad day, right? Shit for you guys, I'm so sorry. Model T, fucking Model T Ford, it's a bit older than fucking water. <laughs> there you go, awesome. Uh, stays to make for the rear fenders, and they are fenders because it's American, so there you fucking go. I don't mean the guitars. With that done, we're going to turn the CFM up a bit, because it's a different gas, but we should be happy fucking days. Right, let's get a couple of tacks on, and bear with me. Let's just trim this end off. Mind your eyes. Now we're Right, let's push that forward so this touches that. And we should be good to go. Right, oh. So we're tapped up. Uh, we're anti spatter and everything. Let's fucking get on and weld it up. Eh? Move it around that position and whatnot. <laughs> So, what an arduous fucking task that was, changing the gas, changing the wire. Fucking hell, it's all gone off. Doing that other little welding job, but we've got that in and I've just fucking ground up some bits, cleaned it all up and give it a weld. I'll give that a fettle after when it's cooled down. Now we're on to this one, which is gonna be the problem child, isn't it? So, let's see what kind of solution I can come up with there. Right, that's that, look at that, that's fucking wild. <laughs> that is fucking wild. It, I'm glad we've got that big plate on the front and I've plated it solid inside. I ended up, uh, this bottom one, that bottom one, I ended up cutting a fucking curved plate out of this bit of fucking six mil. So, there you go. Now, by the magic of television, we can drop the engine back in, put the uh, swing arm and uh, rear rub in and see where the chain lies and then subsequently where the chain guard needs to sit. This is all to fit the fucking chain guard. Mad. Okey fucking dokey. So, we put a rubber pants on and we squeeze that back in. And uh, we got the chain on, obviously tightened it up and then marked on the frame there where it comes to. So, we can see where the chain guard needs to go. And I think chain guard's gonna come across the top, obviously, I'm gonna have some drop downs, old school, but I might put threaded inserts in the swing arm. Not sure, not sure. I need the clearance, to be fair. I thought about a nice chunky bracket with the threaded hole might do it, but we'll see. It gets toyed at the front. Dunno, dunno. So, we're stalled again. Jerky fucking, I don't need to sort of shit out. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it, I keep saying. Um, we're struggling for clearance with this, that and the other. I'm just waiting to hear back from Mr. G uh, to see what's going on with that. There's a few other bits and bobs need doing on it, so I might fucking stall it. I might call that stalled for now and move on to uh, finer, th not finer things. What was I going to say? Move on to other things. It's as fine as it gets, this is. Look, look at them. Early soft towel forks and yolks, old school. They're going in the diner. Oh, bit stops jerking. Um, the Model T, we've secured the rear fender where it needs to be. I've had Harry in and got it all set up where it wants to be, but I need to get some materials in to make what I need to make. So that's stored. Right oh, so I'm hoping our Chola lets me show you 
All right, I'm just popping up to our clubhouse. Popping up, you know. It's not next door. Popping up to our clubhouse this morning to do some work there. We've just taken over a new clubhouse and we've got to fit it out. So we've got a bag of kit, look, ready to do some uh, steel work when I get there. And that will be when I fucking get there. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, oh, so we're uh, 846 pound. And look at the fucking sky. Look at that. Fucking earth camera's picking it up, but wow. And then it clears. We're blue skies of the birth. Right, let's get past this big, big lad. And fucking onward. So here we are, look. I've arrived. I've blindfolded you so you can't fucking see where we are. Like, a secret location. And uh, basically, it's an old fucking farm shed, like. We just built the bar. Built this partition, getting the sign up, getting the lights in, getting the fucking... My job today is to change that wood for metal, because the previous tenant chopped it out like a wanker. Uh, and then we'll carry on making it our fucking home like, so happy days. All right, so here's a quick look behind the bar. We've just, we've done this look, we've built all this. We've got our fridges in. There's another big fridge. We've got room on the end there where the optics are gonna go. Um, all this fucking wood's been sanded down and varnished. And that'll be the same. Let's fucking try and show you. The lighting in here is not fantastic because we're still doing the electrics light, but there you fucking go. That'll all be painted out with some club stuff on it, probably. And we're on about cladding this back wall and doing all fucking graffiti down it. Ah, Danny, DB Choller. So, yeah, here we go. It's a bit of a shell at the minute, bit of a building site, but this is taking up a day, one day a week. I can pledge to this, so. That's what I do. So, if I don't get too much fucking glare, we've now replaced that chunk of wood with a chunk of metal, put a bolt on, put a stop on, we're fucking happy days. That's mission accomplished. I know, so. Look at it, look, look. Hey, you know, it makes sense. So, we're in the studio, in the tattoo studio. Uh, we're going to be tattooing that nice Mr. Nige this very morning to finish a week off. So let me spin you around. There's been a lot of interest about my machines that I use. These are all handmade. These are the ones that I'm, I used to make. I don't really make them anymore. But every component, if it's not a fixing screw or a coin, it's made by me. Yeah. Lovely little things, reciprocating coil. They're based on the earliest ones were made from antique doorbells, which that is, up there, next to the uh, slight adornment of the naughty that's leaning up against it. That was a present from my father. Bless your dad. Um, yeah, so these have all got their own little story, and they're all a gift or a trade or something I bought because I wanted something special. And I, it's one of my favourites from Dank. Check out Dank Built. Dank, literally Dank Built. This is the Thumb Cutter, number two. Great machine. Runs lovely. Nice shader, nice colour packer. General all round colouring in and the like. I might use that today actually, I'll miss the knife. These are Elizabeth's. My Elizabeth, she uses the dildo fucking pens because she's uh, little and she can't handle the weight and balance of a proper machine. There you go, that's that, yeah. So we're set up, we're using, this is one of mine that I made, a special series of, uh, what's that, number three of six. So I made six liners and six shaders, this is a mini bulldog, is the style of it. With lots of little trick bits on it, look. And there she blows, Captain. So we'll be using that to line up. Um, closely followed by the dank built thumb cutter. Thumb Cutters United, that was about cutting thumbs off uh, illegal tattooists, scratches. Cut the thumbs off, that'll sort them out. Fucking check out Dank on the socials, he makes beautiful machines. That was a trade. Or, uh, uh, we were in a group that swapped, you sent them off and there was a lucky dip and you got someone else's machine. And this is a, a Mickey B, bless him, I think he's passed away now. Uh, Mickey B telephone dial, which is a copy of Mickey Sharp's telephone dial, which is a copy of, a copy of, you know, it's not a, an original design. Mickey Sharp's made it famous, though. But this is the first machine that I made, um, built completely out of parts. I, uh, I worked at a place where the gaffer made tattoo machines, 
before I was making tattoo machines so I started putting a few together with him and this is the first one that I made completely out of parts. Um, I've restored it since, we're talking fucking hell, 7, 17, 20 years ago I reckon I put this together. Um, still going strong, I've just done a, a cosmetic refurbishment on it, it's still original everything. I've just cleaned it up, changed that, that's one of my contact screws. Um, apart from that, it's fucking happy days. So yeah, that's what we'll be using today on that nice Mr. Night. I already fucking know this. So... Yeah. We've been working on this this morning. Let's just turn you around a bit and show that. Look. There you go. That is my week fucking finished. Happy day. There you fucking go. What a mixed bag, eh? It's been a bumpy week. Uh, if you follow along on me other topic of videos you'll see uh, i've been struggling a bit but we're on the up so hopefully we'll have uh, a wonderful weekend off um and we'll we'll continue on onwards and upwards tomorrow so sorry next week there you go so all it leaves me to do as always is thank you for watching if you like what you see give us a thumbs up give us a sub check out all the bump in the description below and i'll catch you on the next one see you later everybody big love <laughs>